with this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create this type of donut or rounded chart. Let us start creating. I'll delete to have a blank canvas and at first I want to establish the colors I will work with. Luckily I was browsing the web and I found a really cool website. Actually someone called Mr. Pugo, at least here on Instagram, uh, kudos to you my friend, created a website, it's currently in beta but I'm sure it will grow, uh, created a website with color schemes and corresponding gradients to that. And since I have been using gradients on this design and the original design was, was with gradients, so let's follow the same formula. I, for example, really like this color, so I'll press print screen on my keyboard, boom, print screen, control V here inside of PowerPoint, picture format, crop, and I'll crop it down to the colors I want to use. All right, those will be the colors we will be using. I can enlarge PowerPoint and everything is set. The first thing I wanted to create is a rounded big circle to be the background of the, this element. I'm pressing insert shapes and I'm inserting a normal circle. I'm pressing shift to make it pretty big and I'll position it exactly in the middle of my slide. Uh, PowerPoint will try to help me with that and this is perfect. Shape outline, no outline, no shape fill. Do we want to use the colors right away? Why not? Gradient, more gradients. I can see my gradients prepared here, so I'll simply press on gradient fill and it takes the previous gradient I used, but I want a different gradient for this one. I'll take like the most bright one. Well, actually, I do not the pink one, so I'll just use this color. And for the second color, eyedropper, I'll use the next blue color. This should work pretty fine as well. Once you have created this part, go to insert again, shapes, and this time you want this block arc. This is one of the most important features of this entire design and in general the block arc is very important. I'm clicking here to start drawing, I'm pressing shift to make this on equal proportions and I make a big block arc. It should be approximately um, big as this circle. Now I take the rotation tool and with my shift key I rotate it so it starts equally on um, this line. I'm putting it in the middle to see how big it actually is. I'm making sure that it will be a slightly bigger than the original circle. Now I have to decide how big this is with this bottom handle. You can see I can decide how much of this block arc will be filled here. And you can see I'm a bit more to the top side than I am to the left side. This is completely up to you. You can position it as you want. Also with the second handle you can decide how thick this is, but you need to be careful because uh, we can very easily like change the size of this. So what I will do, I will maybe make this a bit thicker and like that. Okay, this is perfect. Now I go again to insert shapes and insert one more block arc. Again with my shift key, I make sure it's... And still holding my shift key, I'll rotate this around. Now I want to position this slightly under this one. Actually, this looks kind of like a Wu-Tang Clan and I would like them to overlap and to be of different sizes. I want them to be here equal, but here different. And yet still different than the circle. It doesn't have to be exactly like that. I can overlap it if I want, I can make it like that. And that's no problem. This is completely up to your creativity. If you want it perfectly equal, you should reduce the size uh, to make them to make them equal like that. All right, let's now apply the colors because this looks very weird to me right now with the blue colors. Shape fill is already open because I have my format shape opened. Gradient and I'll select next colors, either the gradients I have here or simply work with the colors. That's no problem. Eyedropper, click and... Okay, we start with the purple and the second one, eyedropper. Actually, those gradients aren't as useful as I thought. Shape outline, no outline. The next one, shape outline, no outline, and we will just differentiate between the colors. Uh, do we want the pink or do we want the bl those blue colors? It's up to you. I will maybe opt for the uh, the blue, or let's 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 make it a, a bit more vivid. Uh, gradient fill. Sorry, I should click on gradient. Pinkish. Actually, 
this could stay as it is because it kind of looks cool with this uh, it goes together well with this um, purple maybe not with the blue but that's something we have to live with if we want to change it we can always change the direction for example if you want darker on the bottom so it aligns better with those and darker colors this should also look very fine the next step you want to create you want to create the middle of this object and the middle is very simple because you simply take this existing circle Control d you place it on top of each other so they overlap perfectly because this is in the middle if you are not sure if you are in the middle align align center align align middle now i'll resize it let me click on it i'm resizing it with my shift and my control key so i'm resizing inwards to the middle point and with this circle i want to make sure that i cover the outlines of those two objects we can always click on those objects and change how thick this is so that's that that shouldn't be a big problem the first circle should be a solid fill and white again duplicate it put it on top make it a bit smaller and here we can go for the gradient this will like make the design a bit more consistent and we will give it this nice little middle touch if you do not like the colors you can click on this existing object am i selecting it right okay you can go to home format painter and you can paint this design over it really depends on what you want to achieve the way i did the circle and the icons is also simple you can take a take an existing object again Control d place it here make it a bit smaller like this and you can take it you can click on shape format shape fill no fill shape outline you can give it a color for outline for example white white will work well you can make the outline of course thicker by going to shape outline weight and simply making it bigger i want it kind of to be visible but not as much so two and a quarter maybe three maybe three for me it stands out here to the top side too much so i take this purple object and i place it lower it's completely up to me where i have this object maybe a bit more inwards they overlap each other so it's no problem if something doesn't overlap and you want something to be in front remember you can always right click bring to front and bring a bit forward so this will bring this one forward i will lower the size again by shift and control together and i'll consider putting icons here putting icons was very simple i simply made circles again insert circles i made little circles shape outline no outline this time shape fill white i've duplicated them a couple of times and i placed them in various places we can of course have different sizes it depends on you of course Control d Control d and i'm placing them around this design i would just add icons on top of it either you select icons from outside the web like a png icons or if you have office 365 subscription i sorry it's now a microsoft 365 you have the icons feature in the insert icons you can simply select icons and those are high quality uh, vector icons i'm inserting them i can make them smaller and i will of course place them accordingly in those objects if you plan to animate this entire design make sure that you group some elements so it's a bit uh, sim simpler for example if i group those icons Control g Control g Control g now with shift i will select this this and the circle and those little circles i hope i will be able to click on them Control g okay perfect now this entire overlay of icons is one object if i plan to animate it for example animation open up give it a spin <laughs> this spin is i know this spin is like looks horrible but if you go to animations and the animation pane you will increase the duration like to five seconds so it goes slower you will double click on it and on the timing repeat until until next click or until end of the slide it really depends on what what you what you expect from this design i'll right click start with previous so it starts automatically without me clicking and i'll make it 10 seconds long let's preview it do you need this type of animation no is this animation annoying yes mission accomplished this is everything you want from a design like that i cannot stop watching this this color palette is really wonderful thank you and see you in other ones like that